Alright guys, welcome back in to another loadout building video and today we're going to climb to the tippity tops or float to the tippity tops of Vertigo and we're going to build a luxury loadout. Now, I do have some sort of ideas of where I wanted to take this and when we ultimately went with it. So when I first thought of luxury, I was thinking like the baggage collection would be really good for this because like in my head I was thinking you want like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, flashy, fancy designer items like that. So a jet set immediately became one because you're traveling all across the world. It's got the leather on it. It's kind of luxury. And then alongside that, I was like, okay, we've got first class skins. Obviously, if we're flying first class, we're flying luxury, that kind of thing. But then I looked at it, like the jet set's cool, but they're older skins and I wouldn't call that like a luxury loadout for CS2 right now. So what I've done instead is I'm just going to we're building a loadout with some of the flashiest skins that you can have. Not necessarily price-wise, but how flashy they look and feel in-game. Before we dive into it, I just want to let you guys know about the giveaway we're running this month, which is for the knife you're seeing right now in the server. It is a Bowie knife, field test at Crimson Web. Uh, big up the boys, you know, since that update came out, it's been super cool. We're giving this away. All you have to do to enter is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Winner's going to be picked at the beginning of August. Good luck and let's get into the luxury loadout vibes. If you're looking for the best place to buy and sell your Counter-Strike skins, then check out today's sponsor, Skinport. Skinport offers a fast, smooth, easy and secure experience for buying and selling skins and it's much cheaper when compared to buying on the Steam market. Let's take a budget combo, for example. On Skinport, you can get this for under £240, but on the Steam market, it would cost you about £310. That's a £70 saving that you could use towards other skins for your loadout. So whether you're looking for budget skins, building your first full loadout, or an experienced collector with no buying fees and a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot, Skinport has everything you need and more. Check out the link in the description and thanks to Skinport for sponsoring today's video. Now, I'm going to kick it off with the knife and glove combo that I've gone for here. And I've gone for Snow Leopards in a minimal wear, which is $825 with a Sletal Doppler Ruby in fact you which is $2,800. Now, this combo obviously is about $3,600. It is a very expensive combination, but I want to give some reason behind it. Gloves-wise, there's two reasons for the Snow Leopards, right? One, they are, they are very good default gloves when it comes to just using a mix of color of skins, which we're going to do today. So I was going to have to do Snow Leopard, King Snake, or Nox. I then went to Nox or Snow Leopard because I feel like both of those are a bit more realistic as what you could see as a designer pair of gloves. And then I want Snow Leopard just because I think overall they are better for neutral showcases, especially when it comes to the stuff like a ruby. And what I've gone for here is, uh, you know, we're, we're luxury people. We're not going to be going out with um, these huge, big, aggressive knives. We're going to have something nice and small and flashy. So we have to pick a stiletto and we have to pick a gem. And I think ruby is the best pick here. Now, I do have an agent. It is going to be uh, Sir Buddy Doral Royale, uh, the professionals. I like here. There's some tattoos. You get some gold. The watch is gold as well, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, I don't know if there's any gun you actually see it really well with for well inspected. You can see it a bit there. Uh, you see the edge of it with the Glock. So, you know, just going for those nice gold accents. Looks kind of cool. When it comes to a terrorist agent, it kind of hit, hits my luxury thing a little bit weird of how I've been theming it on a more, like, I'm going to say, posh luxury. But it does have a lot of gold, so that takes a box for us. And then over on the CT side, I'm going to go with the big man Rixaw for like $8, mainly because he has no sleeves, which means we don't have any clash at all here, regardless what weapons we're using, which is kind of nice. And if you're wondering how he would look in game, this is it here. Like I say, the main thing is just getting no sleeves and then just something that's clean and doesn't stick out too much. Like I have Rex Crikey, but he's got a huge fucking hat. Now, that might be me done waffling about knife and glove combos, but we now have all of the weapon skins to go through as well. Now, there's certainly an argument to be made for the Fiat, but I could not bring myself to pay that much for the Glock. So I've gone for a Fiat 2 Gamma Doppler Glock. Obviously, Emerald can be in the conversation as well, but you know what? Uh, and, and you can jump to that if you want, but I just thought $70 for a Fiat 2 with how good it looks was just a nice play. Then over on the USP, I picked the print stream. You will see more than one print stream through this loadout. Uh, it would look much more luxury with the pearlescent. I still hope that comes back. But I think the $49 for minimal wear here, especially how it looks with the Snow Leopards, this is just a very nice pick. Now, if you are a P2000 enjoyer, I'm going to recommend the Imperial Dragon. This one just kind of gives me, like, 
fancy, expensive vibes. I think it's imperial, that orangey goldness to it. $4.50 as well. I just think it's a nice fit. As I say, you're going to see more print streams. This is the other one here. It is going to be the Desert Eagle. This one in minimal wear is $42. Man, can I get the normal one spike, please? Um, now, there's definitely another conversation to be had here about how, like, an Emerald German Gander could look really cool. Uh, and it's a bright green. It will stand out. But I think just luxury item. Uh, this isn't minimalistic at all, or not not really minimalistic, but color-wise, color palette wise a bit more minimal with some light designs, and I think it looks really good. Now, the AK has an absolute no-brainer. It has to be the inheritance. We're not having a discussion here. This is $85 in minimal wear. Man, these minimal wear um, snow leopards do be looking really good as well. So I'm taking screenshots. Um, yeah, this this inheritance, I absolutely love it. I'm waiting for the price to buy uh, drop down before I buy another one myself, because it will continue to drop a little bit. But $85 for min wear right now, if you're building this loadout, is banging. And then, boom, M4A1S, we have the blue phosphor. Now, we could be looking at a hot rod as well, but I and it would fit, it would fit with the ruby. Don't get me wrong, but I like the fact that the blue phosphor gets the color all the way down the magazine. This looks incredibly sick. Another reason I picked the snow leopards is you can see how nice they like offer this base to show off the skin. It's like five hundred and forty dollars. It's insane. I do have a cheaper option for you. And the cheaper option would be a print stream in minimal wear for 220 But I just think having the blue AK and the blue A1S and just how much they stand out is really nice. And then we have a skin that I don't think I've showcased since the Anubis collection came out. It is going to be the Eye of Ores, minimal wear at $350. All these prices, by the way, from the 14th of July. If you're watching a month or two down the line, obviously there may be some fluctuation. This one just passes that vibe test. I wish it was more white over like this off whitey, yellowy sort of color. But the amount of gold on it, it just feels prestigious, feels luxury. And now, for the op, I think I, I could go pick something like the Prince, but I wanted to pick reasonable price skins. I know I've got a Blue Phosphor, but I'm still calling a Blue Phosphor somewhat reasonable because it's not like $5,000. So I think Chrome Cannon, minimal wear, $60. Takes a box for us here with giving us something a little flashy, a little bit of shine to it. Uh, over on the MP9, I have went for a hot rod. Now, it doesn't really get the shine that the Blue Phosphor gets, but I do think it is a very nice, flashy, bright red MP9. Uh, if you're looking at the other expensive MP9s, you've got stained glass, stuff like that, but I think this works better. One I've always loved for this kind of loadout is the gold brick. Honestly, seeing it now, kind of a little bit sad that I sold mine, but it is what it is. This is a souvenir one, which minimal, minimal wear is $25. You can save a little bit. Get a field test one if you get it in no float, but just across the board, account for the 25 if you're going to end up getting it in minimal wear. Now, a bit of a slept on skin, in my opinion, is the mint kimono, and I'm picking it here because I just read kimono. Kimonos just give me that nice vibe, you know, man. Uh, this is minimal wear at $3.50. It is pattern based, so keep that in mind. This is pattern one, and I actually kind of like how pattern one looks with the gloves right here. It is kind of cool. When I'm trying to hit the same sort of vibes as the gold brick, I'm going to go to the brass for the Tech 9. It's not exactly the same vibes, but it's pretty close to it for the $9. You can see there is a bit of a theme with the gold skins, but I haven't just gone gold across the board. I have tried to go for the more luxury, shiny picks too. But commemoration for $7 minimum wear, it's kind of hard to pick another famous here. Just because it's a luxury loadout doesn't mean we have to break the bank everywhere. I've done this with the Gil here, the tuxedo. A dollar for factory new. It looks great with the gloves. You're out wearing that tux. It is luxury. And then we have a few more filler skins to go through. So I've got the Copper Galaxy here for the 5.7. I just like that um, the shine it gets. Uh, I don't know what the best way to detail it is. But just that shine you're getting for a $5.50 skin is really nice. I may not have gone for the Emerald Jormungandr Deagle, but I am going to get the uh, the Emerald uh, Joe Barrettas. Now, there is a conversation to be had here, because these are $28, and I think these are definitely vibey. They definitely give off that luxury vibe, but maybe the cheaper option might be better. I really wanted to use the Emeralds, but you know what? The Royal Consorts might actually be the better pick here. Because they're gold, they got that nice Emerald green in them, and they're under $2 for Factory New, so take your pick here of what you want. The SG disappointed me a little bit when it came to options. I ended up just going for a Phantom. It's minimum wear half a dollar. My main thing here is this one's quite clean, quite slick. Not necessarily luxury, but the sort of second best we could do. My, my, oh my. I haven't had to check this skin in game in a while, and I love it. It is the Flame Jormungander. Another one of hitting these nice North mythology vibes. I have gone for a minimal wear, which you can see wear on it. It's one of those ones. I think when you're using it here, it's not as bad. When you inspect, you do see a bit more. It's $255. But you know what? This or a hot rod, take your pick. 
Pull one up, the tuxedo vibes. We're going to have the black tie. This is 71 cent. This one is another one that's a bit of a no-brainer for me. Exactly the sort of vibe that we want to be getting with this loadout. Then we have the MP7 feed. Now, this obviously has different feed percentages that can affect how it looks. Just to make sure you're checking what the field percentage is before you buy it and check it in game to make sure it's actually what you want field percentage wise. A lot of people want to try and get as close to 100 as possible, but there's some cases actually we're going maybe like 80, 85% might suit what you want better or what you prefer better. So just be mindful. And then finally, I'm going to end it off with the spring fully for the scout. There's probably a conversation for the acid feed here, but I use it a lot. I think... The spring twilly is pattern based, but if you can get a pattern that has the spring twilly in a nice sort of location, like a full twilly pattern, for not too much overpay as well, it could be considered, but I've thrown it away. I think it's a pretty cool um, scout skin. Overall, this loadout would cost you $5,300. Now, that's a lot to spend, but for hitting like a full luxury vibe loadout, which I think we have done across the board here, obviously might have some conversations about how it's weird. I've spent like $900 on both M4s, only 85 on the AK. But I think that works out best. So that is going to be me for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. We're trying to do some more like creative themes. And I hope you guys have been appreciating it. If there's any themes in particular you guys want to see me try and hit. Please let me know in the comments down below. And I will uh, do my best to try and make it into a video for you guys. Before I leave you. Just a big thank you to the YouTube members that continue to support the channel. It's the best way to directly support me and the content I'm making. And it is greatly appreciated. If you want to learn more about it. Make sure you check out the join button just below the video. It'll be beside the subscribe button. It'll tell you about all the lovely perks you can get. I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.